We're here with Tony Delphine, State Forester. First of all, you said um, this is the worst fire season that you've seen ever? Right, as far as our 10 year statistical history, it's the, the worst fire in, in terms of acres burned, and it's going to be the, the most expensive fire season in the last 10 years as well. 2002 and 2006 were, were very busy seasons, but this season's shaping up to be, from, from those two aspects, the busiest season. Is the big reason because of the drought? I think the bigger reason is last last year we had a slow fire season because of abundant moisture and a lot of vegetation grew, all the grass and the underbrush grew, and we did have that cold snap that froze a lot of the trees. So without having uh, spring moisture this year and winter moisture, the fires have been really just able to take off. I also noticed on your on your chart uh, there was I think it was 2002 there were actually more fires but it, it, it burned less acreage. Right. This year same number of fires as 2002 but a lot more acreage. Why the difference? Um, the acreage reason for the increased number of acres is because of with the, the the fine field loads the fires have just really been tough to deal with at an initial attack level so the fires have just been taking off and getting large overnight so that's that's mm -hmm. one of the main reasons and I'd have to look back at the data from 2002 but I think there were there likely was more of a fire more of a lightning season than there was this year this year we, we just have now moved into fire into lightning season but the prior prior years we, we likely had more lightning starts last thing for you I've heard from a number of readers complaints that uh, whether it was the, the U.S. Forest Service or whatever, public policies have been in effect. They say, I'm not an expert on this, but the, 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 they say that there's been policies in effect that uh, uh, have been, have sort of led to more serious fires, like thinning, that sort of, you know, uh, restrictions on burns and uh, restrictions on roads and stuff. Any thoughts about that? Um, is there any truth to that, or is it, is it more anecdotal? The federal government, it's, it's a little, it's a challenge for them to get the projects going. I know they're working as hard as uh, the other entities on trying to get forestry, forest management projects done, especially around communities to protect communities and watersheds and to improve the health of the forest. It is a, a little more difficult for the, the government to do, the federal government to do projects than it is for a state private landowner to do that. But uh, they're they're working on on trying to trying to get those forest management pro projects taken care of. And, uh, is there some is there some validity to those arguments that that, that it's that, more challenging for them to do the no the not just that but the the, the 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 recent changes in policy restricting thinning and that sort of stuff leads to all something the policies like this. that I've uh, that I'm aware of for forest management have, through my career I began in the fire management mm -hmm. um, business, so to speak, in 1989, and we were moving into the, the current NEPA, the Endangered Species Act compliance, all the different things that uh, have slowed a lot of federal agencies down from doing the types of projects that, that local folks and a lot of people would like to see. So that, that's, that's true that it's, they're not able to get the projects done as fast as a lot of folks would like them. Okay. Tony, thank you very much. Sure.